you know, the older I get, the more I realize that the biggest decisions in life rarely come with full information. Should I marry this person? Should I invest in this business? Should I trust this gut feeling or wait for more clarity? And the frustrating part is, most of the time, you're making these calls or very important calls with partial signals, with some hints, with some patterns, a few dots, but no full picture. Still, the world expects you to act. Life doesn't pause until you've figured out everything. So how do you make decisions in a world like that, where truth reveals itself slowly, very slowly, if ever? How do you avoid being reckless without becoming paralyzed? Well, this is where the Bayes theorem or Bayes rule comes in as a powerful thinking tool or a mental model. In technical terms, Bayes rule is a mathematical formula for determining conditional probability. And conditional probability is the likelihood of an outcome occurring based on a previous outcome in similar circumstances. And so Bayes theorem provides a way to revise or update an existing prediction or theory given new proof or new evidence. Now that sounds too complex and mathematical, right? Well, that's what I thought when I first time came across the phrase Bayes rule. I almost skipped it. It sounded like one of those things you only need to know if you're solving probability puzzles or working in insurance. But over time, and this surprised me, it became one of the most useful, powerful mental models I've ever found. And not just for investing or decision making, but also for life. Before we get into how it works, here's a story behind the name. So Bayes rule is named after Thomas Bayes, an 18th century English minister and mathematician. Now, Mr. Bayes wasn't trying to build a decision-making framework for modern CEOs or fund managers. He was just trying to understand how we could learn about the world when we are starting with incomplete knowledge. And so, what he gave us is a framework to update our beliefs when new evidence shows up. That's it. But that simple idea of being open to change and not flip-flopping, but gently adjusting can completely transform how we think and act. Now, I know all of this sounds a bit abstract, so let me bring it down to something familiar. Let's say you are checking your phone late at night and you notice your best friend has not replied to a message you sent a few hours ago. Your mind goes into overdrive. Are they ignoring me? Are they upset? Are they okay? You try to remember how often do they respond late? What's happened in the past when they've done this? And then maybe you see that they're online now, still not responding. Suddenly, your mind updates a threat level. This is Bayes' rule happening in real time. So you started with the belief that they usually reply quickly. You got a new piece of information that they haven't replied in few hours. And now you're updating your belief about what that means. Of course, we don't usually do this consciously. We either overreact or we rationalize. But Bayes' rule, if you choose to bring it into your thinking more consciously, it invites you to pause and say, okay, What did I believe before? What have I just learned? And how should this change what I believe now? That's the real beauty of it. Not in some mathematical formulaic way, but in the habit of mental flexibility. Now imagine applying this to something like investing. Say, you're bullish on a company, you've done your research, you like the management, the numbers look solid, the business model seems robust, and so you buy the stock. That's your prior belief. Then a few quarters later, you notice revenue growth is slowing. One of the founders has exited the company. A new competitor starts undercutting prices. Now what? The mistake most of us make is that we don't update. We either cling to our original belief because we've invested time and ego into it or we panic and sell without thinking. But a Bayesian investor would take that new evidence, weigh it against the original thesis and slowly recalibrate. Maybe what was once an 80% conviction becomes 60% or 50%. Maybe you don't sell, but you reduce your position in the stock. Or maybe you wait for another quarter or a few quarters of data before making a big move. This is not a reactive way of investing. It's responsive and there's a big difference. Bayes' rule also reminds you that the world isn't binary. Things don't go from true or false overnight. Our beliefs shouldn't either. But the hard part is that it takes humility. Most of us get too attached to our ideas. We take them personally, in in business especially. We build entire business strategies around assumptions and then when reality doesn't play out the way we hoped, 
we blame everything but the assumption itself maybe the market wasn't ready maybe the customer didn't get it we had just had bad luck rarely do we say maybe we were wrong and the new data is telling us that i've seen startup founders launch products they were sure would work only to be shocked by the silence on day one no downloads no interest no users some of them go into denial thinking success is just around the corner others pivot too hard and abandon the original vision completely and the best ones they pause they they say they didn't did, this is didn't go how i expected let me reweigh the evidence let me figure out what's noise and what's signal they don't give up or double down they just adjust that's what base is all about but it's not just for business or investing it works in relationships too say so you believe someone is trustworthy that's your prior belief then something happens like they lie to you or hide something important you're faced with a tough call do you hold on to your original belief do you throw the whole relationship away or do you do the harder thing which is sit with the discomfort and update your belief maybe they are still mostly trustworthy but not in all things maybe there's a pattern you hadn't seen maybe you were blind to it because you wanted to be now this is painful work but it's real work we avoid it because updating beliefs feels like ab- admitting we were wrong but actually it's just admitting we are learning and isn't that the point now the funny thing is kids are natural bayesians they keep testing they keep adjusting recalibrating their views about the world about what's dangerous what's funny what what could get them into trouble but somewhere along the way as we grow we start fearing the update we start confusing certainty with wisdom we think people who never change their minds are some somehow more principled or clear but the opposite is often true certainty can be a sign of stagnation and base reminds us that it's okay to live in the gray that progress happens not when we go from 0 to 1 but when we move from 60% to 65% then 70% then 80% that's how we slowly gradually refine our understanding of complex things and here's another angle base also protects us from overreacting just think about how we respond to headlines things like recession coming or ai will replace all jobs stock market crash ahead one tweet one video one newspaper column and people change their entire world view but if you're thinking like a bayesian you say okay before this article or news update what was my view did i already consider this argument does this truly shift the probability of the event or is it just noise suddenly you're not riding the emotional roller coaster of media narratives you're not becoming cynical you're just becoming grounded and where it becomes really powerful is when you start thinking in probabilities instead of absolutes instead of saying this business will succeed you say i believe there's a 70% chance it will succeed assuming current trends hold now that one change in language which is adding a percentage does something remarkable it forces you to stay flexible it gives you space to change your mind and it removes the pressure to be right all the time you are after all not predicting the future you're not in this game you're just managing uncertainty with a little more grace so in a way bayes rule teaches us to be gentler with ourselves we don't have to know everything we don't have to pretend that we know everything we just have to stay curious and willing to adjust and that's the real discipline it's not about certainty but it's about honest and iterative belief the kind that that can say i used to think this was true now with new information i think something slightly is di- different most people don't speak this way but the ones who do they are usually the ones worth listening to in the end it's important to remember that the world is always changing information is always arriving people are always revealing more of who they are businesses evolve to markets shift your own body your own emotions they are never still so why should your beliefs be and base rule isn't a magical answer it won't tell you what to believe but it gives you a map for how to keep believing better as you go how to be humble and adjust your beliefs thoughtfully and in a world that demands fast reactions and loud opinions maybe that's a superpower we all need more of thank you so much for your time